So in this tutorial, I will show you how to use Logger Pro to collect data of distance and time from the video file. So the first thing we're going to do is run Logger Pro. So if I hold down Command in the space bar, I get the spotlight search, and I can type Logger Pro so that I can find it. And this will run Logger Pro. Okay. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the Insert menu, and we're going to insert a movie that we have previously downloaded. So this is our video of the golf ball falling and I just need to go to my downloads folder and get the movie. That will insert it into Logger Pro. Now the movie is not very big here so what I'm going to do is going to be very small but um, you can use the zoom capabilities of your computer once you set it up to zoom in and find the ball really accurately. So the first thing we're going to do is in the bottom corner of the video file there's a little three red balls and a um, arrow click on that, that opens the toolbar. We've got to do a couple things. The first thing we have to do is set a coordinate system. So the third link down allows us to choose a coordinate system and I'm going to click right on the ball in the first frame. So there it is. That's going to be my coordinate system, my X and Y axis. The second thing I have to do is set a scale. So the fourth tool down allows me to set a scale. So when I click on it, I need to drag on something I know the length of. So I put a meter stick in the video just so we have this. I'm going to drag a green line the length of the video stick and tell the computer that that line is one meter long. So we've now set a scale. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Now, the last thing we need to do is actually collect our data. So the second button down here allows us to mark the points. Okay, so a video file is really just a bunch of pictures put together, and we're going to find the ball in each picture. So this is where it would be helpful to zoom in on the ball, but I can't show that while recording a video on my screen. So I'm just going to try to do it here. So what you're going to do is you're going to click right on the ball in every frame, and you'll see that as you click, the ball moves. And you're just trying to locate the ball in every frame and since you've added a coordinate system and you've added a scale and the computer knows that the video file is a picture every 30th of a second what happens is um, the computer can extract the distance and time uh, data so there we go I got all the way to the end okay now don't click anywhere else on this window it's going to add an extra data point so very carefully go over here to the graph and click on it and you'll see your graph if you click on the header of your video, you can move it out of your way, and you'll see your data table over here. Now, there's two things plotted here. The red dots are the X position, the blue dots are the Y position. We are not interested in the X position, the horizontal position of the ball. So I'm going to go up here to data, I'm going to go to delete column, and I'm going to delete the X. Okay? So all that's left now is the Y position, and that is what we want. Okay, so I'm going to click on my data table right here. I'm going to grab the edge of it and make it a little wider and scroll to the left till I can see the time and the Y position. We are not going to use the Y velocity, so you can go to data and you can go to delete column and you can delete the Y velocity. So this is the information we want. This shows how long the ball has been falling, so every frame is a 30th of a second. And this shows its position, and that's what we're going to use. So you can actually copy this data right here, just highlight it, and then hold down Command-C to copy it, and then you can go to your spreadsheet and paste it, and then you're going to find a mathematical model for the relationship between the distance that it's fallen and the time. Okay? That's a lot of steps, so you might need to watch that a couple times, or you might need to just watch a little bit and pause and then try to do it. All right?